morning. This is Marion Blakely. I am writing this outside in our garden, in the sunshine and breeze, on Pentecost Sunday. I am sitting right at the far end, underneath what is now a very tall silver birch tree. It is a very beautiful tree, with silver white bark, which peels off like thin pieces of paper or parchment. The whole tree is blowing in the wind, and the leaves are rustling and shining in the sun. We planted it 35 years ago, when our youngest daughter was born, soon after we had moved here. The garden was even wilder then, and we planted hawthorn hedge seedlings, trained blackberries along the fence, dug up and seeded a lawn, and created a pond, all with God's help. The silver birch tree was about six or seven feet tall then, and I could hold round the trunk with one hand. The tree has been pruned twice, and is due for another one soon. Each time we wonder, will it ever grow back? But it does. This week it has been visited by various birds, by mating damselflies, and also by what we think was a queen bumblebee carrying another smaller bee on its back, probably also mating. It was an amazing sight. What a lot of lessons we can learn from this tree. Sometimes, as Christians, we need to be pruned. There are lessons to be learnt, and we have to be prepared for change. During this lock time, there has been plenty of time to think, read and pray, and hopefully learn things. When we gradually come out again into the new normal, I pray that we will be more Christ-like and show those fruits that may be helpful to others. May we be kind, thoughtful, patient, loving, gentle, calm, peaceful and trustworthy. When the wind blows, may the sun still shine on us and be reflected to those around us. Just as the damselflies, bees, birds and many other unnoticed creatures found solace, safety, nourishment and shelter in our tree, may those around us see Christ in us and be encouraged to look to God and find faith in him.